My dad was the youngest of nine children. His father lived during the Depression, and my dad was born uh, around the Depression time. So my father always had an example of that. So my father worked for my grandfather, as most of the sons did. I think they all ended up doing either plumbing or heating. And the way my father tells it, he wanted a raise. So he went into his dad and said, look, because my father wanted to get married. So he says, you know, I need a raise. So my grandfather says, well, if I give you a raise, I have to give Henry a raise. I have to give Roland a raise. I have to give Freddie a raise. So you're not going to get a raise. So that's what my dad decided that he was going to go out on his own. And I believe that was in 1956. We started doing work in the local mills. And the work involved a lot of the steam piping in the plants because especially if they're manufacturing clothing or if they're processing to make fabric, that would require a lot of steam. So it kind of lent itself to the piping and things like that. So when it first started, almost all of our work was in the manufacturing industries. And then over the years, the manufacturing, of course, is practically nil now in this area. So we evolved into doing work for commercial buildings, so installing heating systems for commercial buildings, although we do still do some work as far as air, water, steam, pipe, any of that sort of piping we do. My philosophy, what I brought to the company was training people, making sure they had the right certifications. Right now, all our guys are licensed in their trades, and some of them have multiple licenses. My dad did check that, but I think it was as important to him as it is to me. So that was one of the things. And he was kind of like old school as far as training goes. If you make it a place where people feel that they can grow with the company and they can share in the success, and you train them, they want to stay. Old school was, well, if you train them, they're going to get too smart and they're going to want to leave. And I've never believed that. We've touched so many families, and I'm excited about the company because we're in the growth mode now. So like the second and third generation is coming on board, and they have ideas that that keep us enthusiastic and things like that. So I'm glad about that, and I'm very pleased with what's going on, and I hope to continue here for a long time.